Hello, today's video we have the following content. Wang Yibo's The Storm Chaser was a hit, but more and more viewers abandon the show. The first quarter of 2024 is coming to an end, and the domestic drama market has ushered in the first wave of ratings boom. In mid-March, an ancient puppet fairy drama called Walking with the Phoenix came out, which evoked the audience's fond memories of the legend of Chu Kiao and triggered a frenzy of watching the drama across the internet. Top spot in online ratings. At the same time, the field of urban dramas has also ushered in two blockbuster masterpieces. Ode to Joy 5 and Little Days are two dramas with captivating plot settings that perfectly fit the current audience's aesthetics and are deeply loved by the audience favorite. As one of the few espionage dramas in the current domestic drama market, Storm Chaser has been a hit in the ratings since its launch. It has won the National Ratings Championship for five consecutive days since its launch, and its popularity has also reached a qualitative level. It has made a huge leap, surpassing the ancient puppet drama Traveling with the Phoenix which has been dominating the charts for many days, becoming the most popular one on the entire network. It is no exaggeration to say that in terms of ratings and popularity, the drama Storm Chaser is definitely a hit drama. However, what is surprising is that the drama actually has a high sales and a low reputation, and its reputation is polarized. The serious differentiation has led to more and more viewers abandoning the show, and the reasons are irrefutable. Although the drama Storm Chaser performed very well when it first aired and received a lot of praise, as the plot progressed, the shortcomings of the drama gradually became apparent, leading many viewers to abandon the drama. The audience complained, the protagonist has a strong halo, the main plotline is too boring, and the subplots are not interesting. Moreover, the performance of the male and female protagonists in the play is also very mediocre, which is in sharp contrast with the supporting characters in the play, resulting in a poor perception of the audience and a feeling of disgust. The male protagonist comes up with various deaths, has a photographic memory, and is a genius accountant. Then he enters the bank through layers of screening, and then the leader starts to let the genius operate. In the end, he almost loses everything. Fortunately, the leader takes action in time and escapes. One Calamity The plot in which the male protagonist becomes a secret agent and goes out to hook up is even more boring. This plot not only lacks novelty and tension, but also leads to a gradual decline in the audience's interest in watching. The plot develops slowly and the rhythm is loose, making it difficult for the audience to invest in the plot and resonate emotionally. Furthermore, the performance of the two leading actors in Storm Chaser is really outrageous. Their acting skills are suspended in stark contrast to the supporting roles. First of all, the male protagonist. His performance in the play was criticized by the audience for his poor performance. Although it has improved compared to before, his acting skills are still jerky and his expressiveness is limited. He cannot show the depth and emotion of the character, and the actor's facial condition is also poor. It is obviously not good, and its image and lines are far from meeting the audience's expectations. Next is the heroine Lee Kin. When I first watched White Deer playing and celebrating more than years, not only was her appearance outstanding, but her acting skills were also very good. But now her acting skills have overturned. After The Road of Life, about her there have been constant controversies over her acting skills, and this time her performance in Storm Chaser failed to satisfy the audience. Her lack of expressiveness made the overall plot lose a certain appeal. In general, Although Storm Chaser has achieved great success in terms of ratings and popularity, the audience's negative comments on the plot performance and the acting skills of the male and female protagonists have been increasing day by day, leading to the phenomenon of viewers abandoning the show more and more. Do you think Storm Chaser is good to watch? How are the actors in the play doing? Everyone is welcome to leave a message in the comment area.